Hello everyone, welcome back to Intro to Tuba with Tuba Thoughts. I'm Drew, and today we're going to take a look at the G scale. Um, now, moving forward, as I always like to say, these are fingerings for a B-flat tuba. So if you're just starting tuba for the first time, there's a very good chance that you're using a B-flat tuba, but if you're not 100% sure, make sure to ask your teacher first. So moving into the G scale, G is a very exciting scale because it's one of the first scales we learned that have sharps, and I'll explain as we go along. Um, so starting with the G scale, we're going to start with low G, which is 1 and 2. The nice thing about G is that it is a magic note, so it doesn't matter what octave you play it in. It can be a low G, it can be a high G, it can be a G so high that it's above the staff. It's always going to be first and second valve on a B flat tuba. So we're going to start on a low G, which is 1 and 2. Then we're going to go up from G to A. And A is second valve. And then this is one of our sneaky notes in the G scale. We're not going to go to B flat like we normally would. We're going to go to B, which is 1, 2, and 3. Then going up from B, we're going to go to C, which is 1 and 3. From C, we're going to go to D, which is 1 and 2. Here's another sneaky note in the G scale. Normally we would play an E flat, but because we're in the G scale, we're going to play an E natural, which is second valve. Going on from E natural, we're going to play their very first sharp that we learned, which is F sharp, which is 2 and 3. After F sharp, we're going to finally arrive at G, which is 1 and 2, because it's a magic note. Going back down from G, we're going to go back to our new sharp note, which is F sharp, so that's going to be second and third valve. Going down from there, we're going to E, which is 2. Going down from E, we're going to go to D, which is 1 and 2. Then we're going to go down to C, which is 1 and 3. Then we have another one of our sneaky notes, B natural, which is 1, 2, and 3. Then down to A, which is 2. And then finally back to G, 1 and 2. For the arpeggio, of course the arpeggio is the first, third, fifth, and eighth note of any scale. So we're going to start on G again, 1 and 2. Uh, then we're going to go to B. And again, B is a sneaky note in this scale. It's not B flat, it's B natural, so 1, 2, and 3. Then from B, we're going to go up to D, which is 1 and 2. And then finally to G up top, which is also 1 and 2. Back down to D, which again is 1 and 2. Back to our sneaky B, which is 1, 2, and 3. And then finally finish with low G, which is 1 and 2. Let's listen to the G scale one more time. valve B flat tuba we're going to have a couple of different fingerings but it's not that different so don't worry again starting with low G because it's a magic note it's always going to be 1 and 2 then we're going to go up to A then we're going to come up to our sneaky note B natural now normally on a 3 valve tuba B natural will be 1 2 and 3 but on our 4 valve tuba we're going to use 2nd valve and 4th valve then we move up to C which is just 4th valve by itself then we're going to go up to D which is 1 and 2 it's an E natural. This is another one of our sneaky notes. It's going to be second valve. And then we're going to go up to F sharp, which is our very first sharp note, which is 2 and 3 again. And then we're going to go up to G, which is 1 and 2. Going back down from G, we're going to go down to F sharp, our first sharp note, which is 2 and 3. Then we're going to go down to E, one of our sneaky notes, which is second valve. From E, we're going to go down to D, 1 and 2. Then from D, we're going to go down to C, which normally on a 3-valve tuba would be 1 and 3, but instead of 1 of 3, we're going to use 4th valve. Then from C, we're going to go down to our sneaky B, and remember, this is B natural, so instead of using 1, 2, and 3 like we would on a B flat or 3-valve tuba, we're going to use 2 and 4 for our 4-valve combination. And then down from B, we're going to go to A, which is 2nd valve, and finally we're going to go to G, which is 1 and 2. Good. For the arpeggio, we're going to start on G, which is 1 and 2. We're going to go up to our sneaky B, which is 2 and 4. Then up to D, which is 1 and 2. And finally, high G, which is also 1 and 2. Back down from G, we're going to go back to D, which is 1 and 2. Down to our sneaky B natural, which is 2 and 4. And then finally to low G, 1 and 2. Let's hear how it sounds on a 4-valve tuba. Okay, 
so that wraps it up for another episode of Intro to Tuba. If you liked this video and found it useful, I encourage you to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, I also have a Facebook page called Tuba Thoughts. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, links are in the description down below. Uh, until next time, everyone, uh, breathe deep and breathe often.